Santos kept their minds on the job, and they got off to a flyer in nine minutes. Giorgio Boyle there, volleying past Les Fridge, 1-0, his 16th goal of the season. And they made it two minutes later, almost. Smith's corner, Andy Todd's diving header cleared on the line. 25 minutes gone, and Dunfermline were two up in a bizarre goal. Jackie McNamara on the edge of the box, winning the ball. Stevie Tennant trying to bring him down. No penalty, but Ivo Den Beeman follows up, curling the ball over, and Andy Todd there to score his 13th goal of the season. Giorgio Boyle was in top form. This spectacular kick inside the box, crashing off the bar. But it was still 2-0 at half-time. The points were secured for the Pars in the opening minute of the second. Ivo Den Beeman heading through to a boil, slamming past Les Fridge, three goals without reply. And it could have been four seconds later. A boil sending Paul Smith clear, but the finish was poor. The Boyle's hat-trick was complete in 53 minutes. A great run by Stuart Petrie. And the shot, stopped by the keeper, but a Boyle there to pounce on the rebounds. And giving the Bairns cause for concern at Clyde Bank, the news was the Pars were now four up. You have to feel for Dunfermline winning more games and scoring more goals than anyone else in the UK, but missing out on the title and promotion. Their 93rd goal of the season came from a Boyle. His 20th of the campaign, but the five-goal victory, not enough to see them up to the Premier League. But the fans at the end stayed to pay tribute to the we players. We were sick at the end, but uh, I don't think we have anything to be sick about because we've had a magnificent season here. We've broken all sorts of records and uh, we've really enjoyed it. And really, it was only an exceptional performance by another team that's denied us the title. And I would like to offer my congratulations to Jim Jeffries and all at Falkirk because they've had a magnificent season as well. I think um, it was a good day, the crowd enjoyed it and the players enjoyed it. I think everybody enjoyed it right up till the final whistle and then the, the penny dropped, realised that we'll, we didn't get promotion. But um, I think it's been a good season, the supporters here have really enjoyed it. The high school scores in Britain and um, we're just really disappointed for ourselves, the supporters, for everybody connected with the club.